Well, hello guys. I am in my favorite city in Russia. Finally, I am in St. Petersburg. And after Moscow, not to hate on Moscow, it feels like such a breath of fresh air. I know a lot of people actually uh, differentiate Moscow and St. Petersburg, kind of how we do in the West of like, East Coast versus West Coast. Like either you really like LA or you really like New York or you really like Toronto or you really like Vancouver. Similar here and I was just talking about that with uh, some people in my hostel and I'm a hundred percent team St. Petersburg. Like I haven't been here in 10 years but as soon as I got here I just felt a shift in energy and just felt so much more at home. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and this amazing city as much as I do. definitely one of the most beautiful, most well-known, and I think one of the oldest theaters in Russia. And I knew going on this trip that I for sure either wanted to go to a performance here at Mariinsky or at the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow. And after I kind of looked at what was playing in both places, I decided to go with Mariinsky because they had much more ballet. Uh, Bolshoi had opera for the dates that I was there. And I can definitely say I'm a much bigger fan of ballet than I am of opera. For that reason, I decided to go with Mariinsky, but both places in general do have higher sort of prices. My mid-range tickets here were about $80 and could easily go to like 200 depending on the performance. I think they actually had the Nutcracker plane in these days as well and tickets started at $200. At the same time, it's worth it. It's some of the best performers in the world and the uh, theater itself is supposed to be absolutely stunning. So I'm actually gonna do that as a standalone video where I take you guys with me to the opera. But for now, <laughs> just a little mention that if you come to St. Petersburg, you absolutely have to check out Mariinsky Theater. Another place that I would really recommend that you guys check out is where I am right now. It is the House of Fabergé here in St. Petersburg and I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of the incredible Fabergé eggs that were made during the time of the Russian dynasty, so to say, during the time of the Tsars. This is actually the second largest collection in the world with seven original eggs and the only other larger collection is in Moscow in the Kremlin. So let me show you guys some of these amazing creations.
so I'm just coming up to St. Isaac's Cathedral right now and this is one of the places that I actually remember when I was a kid and came here we kind of climbed to the top and had this beautiful panoramic view of St. Petersburg so honestly even if you're here for just one day this is absolutely one of the things <laughs> that you have to do. So I was remembering correctly, <laughs> everything is gilded in gold and it's a lot bigger <laughs> than I remember. Like the ceilings are insane. Well, I guess like we did climb to up there, I don't know, uh, somewhere at the top. So. decided to go on a boat ride in the city and I'm so excited because I was talking to my aunt who lives here before I came and she was like oh you know you just missed the season of uh, the boats going and stuff and I was like dang it I really wanted to do a cruise but it looks like there's a few more <laughs> warmer days left here in St. Petersburg so I'm not going to miss the opportunity. <laughs> 